Hello, how is everyone today? So today is the last day. Today we finish Cinderella phenomenon. It, this means if we don't there is no more sequels after this. There is more nothing. Today is the last day that we wear the glass slipper. We will get today the best end with the best boy. Our beloved world. So, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, we have chapter 4 and chapter 5 and 6 left. To get the best ending. And that will be it. I will still come back with more um, vision level streams because I kind of like doing it. Every two weeks prior. But... I mean, it depends. I may change my my visual novel streams, but I will see. I need to check with things. But visual novel streams will keep going every two weeks. I don't know what I'm going to be playing next. I thought maybe Coffee Talk because I thought I had a game, but it seems like I don't have. So uh, seems like we will see. But without further ado, let's just switch and go. And that's it for the report. Laura steps back, arms crossed. What do you think, Diviana? I shift to a stack of papers on my desk, eyes narrowing in concentration. To Laura and some of the other witches under my employ have been looking for information about last week's arson attack. There has been no word of confession or apology from the witch who started the fire. It is fairly straightforward case, but nonetheless, we will have him speak before the counselors and witness at the end of the week. Hopefully then, he will finally confess something. Good luck, he is as stubborn as a rock. In the chair in front of me, Walt smiles. Have you told Laura about that other thing you've been planning, Diviana? Other thing? I turn to Laura. Next week is the anniversary of the day Angel was saved. It is the day I lost my mother, again, and the Angel became peaceful once more. Alright, any fancy celebratory things happening this year? I may have suggested something special. I hope you did not. I do not need a fancy celebration. Every year, the town folks decorate a town with lilies to thank me for what I did. And every year, Walsh tries to plan some special event on the anniversary. This year, you will not be the only one coming up with a surprise. I shake my head to clear it. I can't think about the surprise I have planned for Walsh later. For now, I need to focus on the anniversary celebration. As the celebration aside, I would at least like to give a speech this year. And to do that every year? Yes, but I normally address to the Pope place as the Queen of Angel. I look at her resolute. This year, I will give a speech as a Tenebrum Baron. Bearer. And. I will show them I am not my father. In the past, I was feared as Ilder's daughter. When I learned the truth about her being the one to start a great war, I dissociated myself from her. I single-mindedly chased after my father's legacy and compared myself to him. But I cannot and should not be using the same procedures he used to try to connect with witches. I cannot just be a queen. I must be a bearer as well. A bearer that does things differently from my mother. One who strives to keep balance. You're well on your way there, Diviana. That would not be the case. 
if you two were not here to uh, here helping me. I owe you both a lot. You owe us nothing. We want to be here. It's the truth. Thank you. I cross my arms. Thinking about my own efforts too, I'm not my father. I'm considering a different way to unite this kingdom. Something that breaks down some of the, all the barriers currently in place. It sounds like you have a lot more than a speech in mind. I have a proposition. I clench my hands on my lap and take a deep breath. I have been mulling over this idea with Waltz for the last few days. I realized recently that only employ which is for that I only employ which is for security purpose. But if all of us, humans, witches, and fairies, are to exist together in harmony, there must be more to of, a, of a say in what happens in this kingdom. I'd like to add witches and fairies to the council. Hmm? Laura gapes at me, gaps at me. Waltz, on the other hand, is smiling brightly. What? Is it a bad idea? Not at all. Actually, it's pretty brilliant. Your mother keeps only witches advisors, and your father counselors are all human. If you can bring in witches and fairies, you'll be showing everyone you're actively pushing for more inclusivity. Exactly. Laura falls back in her chair with a little bit laugh. You and Sinner never fail to amaze me. I have to thank Sinner for his advice, even if it was a little brusque. Do you think he would speak at this year's anniversary as the Lucy's bearer, if I ask him? Laura snorts. He's so self-important, he'll probably ask, you, ask why I didn't invite him to do it earlier. She stands from her chair with a stretch. You want me to extend the invitation to him? No, I shall do it personally. I think he would be offended if I passed the message on it to you. Fair enough. Laura looks at Waltz. Are you coming back with me to the tavern? Of course, I can't disappoint the kids. He glances at me. Are you sure you don't want to tag along for the magic lesson? It's always fun to watch the kids practice their magic. Ah yes, Waltz magic lessons. I do plan on visiting during his lesson today. Even though he does not know it. But first, there is something I must do. I have to organize this paper for paperwork first. I'll see you at the Martian later. Will see then, Your Majesty? Paul stands and leans over to plant a kiss on my head. I'll see you later, little sir. I wait a couple of minutes after they leave to exit the room. The person I am looking for is in the dining hall, gently spooning soup into his mouth as Emilene talks at Lang about something clearly has no interest in him. He looks up as, up as I approach. There you are. Oh! Hello, Diviana! Did you and Rod have plans? No, she's just here for this. Rod rushes into his, pack, his pocket and pulls out a little box, which he hands it to me. Hi, Mina, how are you? Here. Thank you for holding on to this for me. Is that... Oh wait! Is that... Yes! Years ago, when I went into town looking for the items sourced in this box, I visited Milan to discuss this gift with her. Don't forget to stretch and take breaks, Mina, please. That same day, Rod woke in our conversation and offered to keep it idle in his room until I needed it. I found it strange at the time that Emilene did not immediately offer, but she confessed that Rod is better at keeping secrets than she is. The confession did not surprise me in the slightest, still, I am grateful for Rod's offer. 
Oh my god, good luck with dailies. That's the thing, I normally do them between like... Um, so like during the week I do it around like 3... 5 p.m. for me. And then during the weekend, normally on Saturdays I play a little bit earlier, kind of. And on Sundays I play for a long time, like Sunday is my day to like literally farm. So like I go around collecting things, I I play the doubles for the card game and things like that. Try to do the hidden achievements that like for that I missed. What is I awfully intuitive? If I'd left this pre this surprise for him in my room, he probably would have realized that I was having something. Emilene beams. Yeah, the the card game with the the cat on the tavern. I normally play. Like, um, I go there every four days to do like the little challenge they have and then I do the duels because I didn't do them. So I go for to every region and do like a, cer a duel in a certain place and then leave it for the next week. Today's the day that you're going to give it to him then? Yes. I can't wait to hear all about it. Broad size. It will be n a nice change of topic at dinner tonight. He looks pointedly at him, Lane. It will be nice to not hear about Prince Lance for a change. Emlyn flushes. You asked what he said in his last letter. That was a long time ago, Anne. We've been talking about him for one whole hour. Emmeline buries his face in her hands. I'm sorry, I went off on tangents again. But size. Just let Prince Lance fill in some of the details when he arrives. When I look at him quizzically, he wrote shrugs. Prince Lance wrote in his most recent letter that he and Cloud plan on visiting for this year's anniversary. He said he would be arriving sometime this week, but it's a surprise when. Every day, Em wakes up and asks if there have been reports of their carriage on the border. What? Rod dips his head slightly, as if to hide a smile. But perhaps if you spoke more about your own affairs, Emmeline would not have to fill the silence with talk of, of Prince Lance. Rod scoffs. I have nothing to talk about. You always say that when it's not tr it's not true. Viviana, did you know Rod received flowers from Secret Meyer when he was at out in town yesterday? Em. I told him he ought to write the letter back, but he refused. Emmeline told me once that Rod was in love with one of her friends, a woman at a toy shop named Viorica. But that love, which once flared so brightly, Blew out years ago when Viorica married. It is strange to think of Rod in love ever now. There is no point in giving some someone false hope when you're not interested in them. Then who would who, who, uh, then who would interest you? Yeah, comfy, cozy. Do your dailies and stretch. Emmeline puts her hand on the table and leans forward. Vivian and I can try to set you up with uh, try set you up with someone. No, no. The two of us speak in unison before exchanging really good glances. No, I'm a terrible at matchmaking. Don't believe that. I've told you a million times I'm not interested in. I'd rather listen to you talk about all day about Prince Lance. Then have you tried to set me up with someone? The words came out a groan. If you insist... It occurs to me belatedly that I do not have time for this conversa conversation I step away from the table. 
I will leave you too to your conversation. For now, I have a delivery to make. Emmeline's eyes are sparkling when she smiles at me. Good luck, Diviana. Good luck. I offer my sincerest thanks to both of them before heading to my room. I need to move this gift into another box. One I think that will be appropriate. About one hour later, I set off to town with a bag in my hand, accompanied by two knights. I make my way through the food stalls where I purchase an assortment of chocolates. This idea came to me last minute, but, well, I think all students would appreciate a treat after their lesson. I stick the set carefully into my bag as I head over to the tavern. When we arrive by carriage, I dismiss the two knights and head into the tavern alone. I expect to see Walt and the students in the tavern when I step inside, but I am greeted with a much more unexpected sight instead. Ah, if it isn't the beautiful Ice Queen. Claude, heir to the throne of Brugantia, casually decline, reclines in her, a chair at the center of the room. He sits at the table with Laura, Sina, and his younger brother, Prince Lance. Even had I never met, even had I never met Prince Lance before, I'd recognize him as Claude's brother. The two of them have the same fiery red hair and similar features. But whereas Claude is full of crooked smiles and secrets, Prince Lance is earnest and honest. Karma, you shouldn't call her that. Prince Lance looks at me apologetically. Ignore my brother, your majesty. Princess Bells. It is a pleasure to see you again, Queen Diviana. It is nice to see you too, but, uh, you both do. I walk over to their table. What is all of this? Emmeline said you were coming to, for the anniversary celebration. When did you get here? A few hours ago. We parked the carriage a distance away so as not to draw attention. And why exactly are you here? How disheartening to get a cold reception from even you, Diviana. Sina mumbles something beneath his breath. Of course you are an welcome guest. No one appreciates having a spontaneous visitor, especially when that visitor interrupts something important. Important? Were you not just hunting for insects in the forest? Don't you mean my hobbies? Laura laughs. It's good to have you here, Diviana. Maybe you can stop these two from fighting every two minutes. She crosses her arms. The prince thing here bargained in while Walt was in the middle of his lessons. Little Laura, you make me it sound as if I was intruding. You know my intention was to come and catch up before my brother and I went to the palace. Whatever your intention, you still interrupted Walt's lesson. Where is Walt now? He took his students to the forest. When the princess showed up, he said it needed quiet for today's lessons. Laura suddenly seems to notice the bag I'm carrying. What's in the bag? It is something for Walt. Claude leans over. He spots the chocolates inside before I can snatch the bag away. I brought him some chocolates? How oh, sweet! There is a sudden sound, a low rumble that permeates the pleasant quiet. Sin is smirking. And you said you weren't hungry, Prince. I figured I could wait to eat until we were in the pa at the palace. Prince and sighs. We could have been there by now if you didn't insist on this stopover. If I'd known the two of them were visiting today, I would have brought them something. I glanced down at the chocolate. It was meant for, to be for Walt students, but I wonder if it would be a small kindness to give them to the Almond, bro Almond brothers. Uh, okay. Get the chocolate to the children. No, 
I purposely bought this for the students as a reward. Besides, Claude's anger will not be sated with chocolate. I am sure the kitchen staff would be more than happy to prepare something for you as soon as you arrive. So, I wish you had let me know you were coming so sooner. I am a queen after all. It is my, it is my diplomatic responsibility to welcome you. Claude shrugs. I know I, you know I don't expect formalities or favors from you, Diviano. And it would be foolish of him to expect those things in the first place. After all, you are speaking to a prince who came to a run-down tavern before even thinking to announce himself to the queen. Tina scoffs. I can't believe you're going to be the king of Burgantia someday. Tina manners. <laughs> to be fair, that's kind of true. Hi Wolfie, how are you? Thank you for the work as usual. While the two bricker, Claude leans toward me with a smile. Waltz is in the clearing, just beyond the back, the back door. Thank you, Claude. I glass between him and Prince Lance. You two are not going to disappear before I come back, yes? You can rest assured we'll still be here. My secret ventures days are, all, are over. No more Miss Karma, I take it? Claude smiles a little wistfully. I'm afraid not. I'd rather miss those days, though. Claude says, I don't. While we were in NGL, we all thought you were dead. Ah yes, that part was unfortunate. I leave the two brothers to reminisce as I head outside. The moon has risen by the time I step outside, just as Claude said. I want Walt and the students in the near. I find Walt and the students in the nearby clearing. So, do you want to try it again, or shall we break for the night? The children all let out a collective sigh. I feel so tired. I bet I'm going to fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. I'm so tired. I think I'll fall asleep right here. Walt laughs. I told you before not to strain yourselves. Magic takes a huge toll on your on the body. Yes, it does. You should be careful not to overwork yourself, Mr. Magician. Hmm? Well, it startles when I push through the trees. It's the Queen! Your Majesty is here! Hello, everyone. I see you're hard at work. I walk over to Waltz and kiss his cheek. The children mumbles, hiding smiles and giggles behind their, their hands. I didn't think you'd be able to make it. I thought I would surprise you. I held up the bag, which Walt's eyes with curiosity. What's inside? I pull out a box of chocolates. I thought I would buy something for all the hardworking witches here. Is that... Chocolate! The children scrabble toward me excitedly, think thanking me in turn as I give them each a piece of chocolate. Thank you, Majesty! We're blessed to have a queen as kind and beautiful as you. Paul beams at me. We are, aren't we? And the queen can use magic too, just like us. She's very, very talented. You're over exaggerate. You over exaggerate. Both leans forward and whispers. I need to stop being so humble. You're the Tenebrum bearer. I know, but still. <laughs> <clears throat> Walt's eyes fall again on the bag. Is there a treat in there for me too? There is actually. He actually looks taken aback. There is? I laugh. Yes, it's something for you. His eyes lit up. Do I get to see it now? It's an after lesson treat, I'm afraid. At the same time, then. We were just dropping things up here. Hehehe. <laughs> Majesty! One of the young witches bounds forward. Can you, sh can you show us your magic? 
and rather child nods excitedly. I want to see her majesty magic too. I thought of using my magic even just in front of children. It makes me feel suddenly embarrassed. I rarely flaunt, flaunt my magic. I do not think I am bad by any stretch of imagination, but I do not possess the creativity Waltz does. Hmm. Waltz snaps his fingers. What if the princess gave us a preview of the le for the lesson we're going to learn next time? The one you're all so excited about. Fingers! Isaiah, how are you? Thank you for the result. I appreciate it. How are you? Barriers we can use to be heroes! Barriers? There were the very first magic I learned from Waltz. I was impatient, but I remember all I wanted was to learn how to use offensive spells. Waltz, you know I'm not a teacher. You don't need to be. All I'm asking for is a demonstration. Demonstration? Waltz nods, a soft smile on his face. I'm going to use an attack, and you can show the children which barrier they should use to defend against it. So you just want me to act to assess the situation and cast the right barrier? Exactly. I glance at the children, who look at me hopefully. Alright, I suppose I could help you with your demonstration? That's my little star. Waltz blows a kiss as he puts distance between us. I set my back down by the nearby tree and move to stand before him. I forget about the, the kiss blow. Alright, let's begin, shall we? Because this is just a preview for an upcoming lesson, Waltz skims over the details. He explains that there are two types of barriers, one that, one that shields and one that deflects. Powerful spells cannot be deflect deflected, while weak spells can. Listening to him makes me feel nostalgic. Walt turns to me after the explanation. Alright, the Queen and I are going to put on a very small mock battle. She's going to use the right barrier to block my spell, and then I will tell you why she used it. Hello, Zef. Hi. Sound good? The young witches shout their agreement. Agreement. Alright then. Waltz begins to gather magic energy for the spell. I can tell by his realization posture that and breathing that it is not a spell that requires great concentration. So I must use. Uh, I haven't seen Wiggles F in a while. I remember when Wiggle with Moltz were, were really popular. Uh, deflector. I love our magic. I love those magic circles. I gather the magic quickly at my fingertips and bring my deflector to life just as Walt shoots his magic toward me. The sparkling energy reflects off the shield and bounces back toward him. Walt immediately dodges and the energy sweeps over the grass harmlessly. The shield and claps as Waltz takes the bell. And there you have it. Yeah, it's also, it's also, it's also really nice. Do I have anyone? I have this. I have Shickle. I, I have Shoko Wiggle, too, but Wiggle, oh my god. I think. Doesn't Kronos also have one? Yeah, I remember Kronos also having one. Uh... Yeah, these are the ones I have right now. Now, can anyone tell me what sort of barrier the queen uses? The factor, because the magic came back. 
That's right, it was a weak spell, so the queen could send my magic back at me. Walt shakes his head. But remember, don't ever use deflectors unless you need to surprise your en enemy to escape. Reflecting someone's magic back at them is dangerous. Barrier, even a small one that ends up cracking, is much safer for everyone. The children nod and mumble among us to each other. Walt looks at me, his eyes glisten in a smile. He <laughs> is really waiting for that for that gift. If he only knew, if he only knew. You were perfect. Thanks, Viviana. Of course. Walt dismisses the children shortly after our demonstration. Then bow and give their thanks to their, to their, uh, as they leave the forest. I'm glad you got to meet them t all tonight, Diviana. They ask about you all the time. I know you're busy, but I'd love if you came to these lessons when you are you had the spare time. You make a great assistance. He pauses, then shakes his head. No. I think I'd like to take a break and be your your assistant sort of change. You are a far better teacher than I. Walt raised an eyebrow. That's not true. You're an excellent teacher growing up. He steps toward me, closing the distance between us. Are we getting in from the past? Oh, you. It taught me how to make puppets for my shows and how to perform for an audience. But... You're just performing for me back then. It's not the same thing as performing for an audience. Bot reaches out to tuck a straight lock of my hair behind my ear. Doesn't matter. He taught me how to to cultivate. So so Bot laughs. Well sorry, you need to stop selling yourself short. The kids love you. You'd make an excellent teacher. When I am able, I will try to attend your lessons. We would love, love that. I glance back at the bag I sat by the tree, then up th at the moonlight coming through the trees. Pink is dark enough here for what I have planned. Diviana? I told you I have an after lesson treat. I bring the pack over to Walt. There is a childish wonder in his eyes. When he looks at me, it warms my heart like nothing else. Walt has the heart of a, children, of a child, a heart full of wonder and optimism. There is no one that can bring a smile to my face like he can. And okay, man, enjoy your tea. That is why, when I, he proposed it to me year, a year ago, I did not hesitate to say yes. I have always wanted him here by my side. I have always wanted, wanted him. All of him. For me. Hi Giga, thank you for the lurk as usual. I appreciate it. I remember the moment he stood here in the same clearing years ago, before facing mother. What Walt told me darkness made the light glow brighter. Glow brighter. He showed me that light. You take care of yourself as well, Giga. We appreciate that. And now I will show him the same light. I will show him that what he means to me. Hello, Star. You're keeping me in the suspense here. A smile. And then I snap my fingers. Little balls of light spring to life. In the darkness, they look like overing fireflies. Walt's eyes glimmer in that light as he looks around in wonder. Well, this is a familiar spell. It is not the only thing that is familiar. I reach into my bag and take out the gift I preferred. His eyes widen when he sees it. <laughs> Is that Neverland? 
I slide the, an intricate key out from my pocket. It is the only key that can open the box Tinkerbell. I unbolt the key and box to Walt. Open it. Once upon a time, this box held Walt's magic in it. Now, I like to think it holds out its future. Walt carefully takes a bo the box and the key from me. His eyes look misty, like he is holding back tears. This box has so much history. It does, and its role in our story is not done yet. It's not yet done. My heart flutters as Walt slides the key into the box. I have never been as nervous as I am now watching him. The box opens with a soft click, revealing the gift Rod has been holding for me. I think I have been trying to keep a secret from Walt. Walt stares in shock at the ring that lays inside. I, the ring is so beautiful and looks like the star from Neverland that we are used to. I love it. Yeah, Diviano, what? He's so cute blushing. One year ago, you proposed to me, Walt's Cresswell. Slide the ring onto my finger and proposed promised me you would be by my side forever. In the months that passed, I kept pushing off the wedding date. I told you I was not ready for the future because I had to be f I had to figure out the present first. But what you said a few days ago made me realize that we could not overthink things. In order to change the present, we must work must work for toward the future. Days ago, I told you I would never want us. I would huh? Days ago, I told you I never wanted you to keep me in the dark. We both agreed to walk together toward the future end in hand. Now, I want to show you I mean everything I said with this ring. You bought me one. It's only fair we still the deal with two. So the wedding... The wedding... I've planned for it to be the day before the anniversary celebration. Viviana. Both voices and characteristically strained. I can see now that there are tears in his eyes. I wait with anticipation for him to say something. Instead, he leans forward and, without preamble, Primble, presses his lips to mine. His lips are soft and warm against my own, but resolute. When he kisses me, it feels like I'm home. It feels like I have found my way to the light at the end of the dark path. Okay, enjoy your f breakfast. Kissing Walt is like basking in sunshine. When I throw my arms around his neck and dip in our kiss, I feel as if half of the distance has clicked off. Uh, I feel as if half of me has clicked into place. My shadow, which had arched over me for a distance from all those years ago, years, is here to stay. With Walt, I feel as if I can face anything, even the uncertainty that is the future. As the stone glides over my lips, I let myself lose in, the, in this kiss. In this moment, there is nothing but the two of us. Walt takes an abrupt step backward and catches me in a hug when I fall into him. The boat stumble onto the ground laughing. Is that answer enough for you, little sir? He kisses me softly on the cheek, then on my jawline. Beneath my ear, each kiss makes warm blossom beneath my skin and its pool in my stomach. I suppose so. I would have waited forever for you to set that date, but he wraps his arm around me and kisses my forehead. I can't put into words how happy it makes me that you asked me now like this. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He holds up his hand, and the thrill goes through me at the sight of the ring on his finger. 
I will treasure this always. And I will treasure you always. Both kisses me again. Another soft, sweet kiss on the lips. Thank you, little star. I will love you. With all my heart. Me too, Walt. The two of us lay there in each other's arm, gazing up at the stars between the canopies. Some time passes before re reality begins to sink in. The Brugantian princes are still in the tower, and everyone is in the place. In the palace is probably worrying, worried for me. I sit up and pass down my hair with a grumble. Time to get on, to get on. Everyone is going to insist I start bringing knights with me at this rate. Walt takes my offered offer hand with a smile and rises. Let's head back to the Martian then. Everyone is exactly where I left them when I return. Glory looks almost relieved when we reappear. Finally! It took you too long enough? There's only so long we can sit here entertaining a spoiled prince before he gets on our ner last nerve. Excuse me for boring you with my stories. Not everyone likes the chameleon stories, Carmen. What suddenly looks integrated? Integrated. You like chameleon's club? I do. I do like them. I uh, know. I do. Do you like them? Please don't encourage him, Walt. Cine glances at me as the three of them talk about chameleons, whatever those are. Laura said you had something you wanted to ask me earlier. Alright, the anniversary speech. I bring up the, my proposal to Cine, who, as Laura predicted, is agitated and did not bring it I did not bring it up sooner. I'm offended you didn't invite me to do a speech last year. I barely knew you last year. The fairy crosses his arms and looks smoothly at the table. I appreciate you asking, I suppose. I'll make some time to give a speech. Thank you, Sina. Sina just responds with a shrug. His eyes flit towards. We are still speaking animatedly with Claude about chameleons. I see you gave him your ring. Mm. How did you? Do not estimate how perceptive I am. He looks at Waltz, thoughtful, and then he does a strange thing, he smiles. I'm happy for you both. Thank you. This is... this has always been my greatest wish. It is wonderful to see it fulfilled. Sina crosses his arms, looking thoughtful. A wish? Hmm. Did you know us fairies can grant wishes? You can? Sina nods. The rules have changed since the Great War, but every fairy can grant one wish. I've always thought wishes were foolish. Why would humans wish for something they can accomplish on their own? Achieving something by your own merits is always more satisfying. This is very true. What are you two discussing over, the, over there? Nothing important. Now, are you going to escort the princess back to the palace or...? Yes, Claude, Prince Lance, let us go. We are on our way out when the Laura calls my name. Viviana, congratulations. For what? I didn't think I wouldn't notice the ring on Walt's finger. I hope you plan on inviting us to the wedding. How could I not? How could I not? You were the one who insisted we put ourselves first for a change. Laura grins. I'm always here to remind you of the important things. You haven't seen it both. You knew watching over two pair who knew watching over two barriers would be so difficult? You act as if you're my mother. Laura snorts. Just remember you said that, not me. <laughs> I love it because it's just like that. Cine doesn't say anything to that. Just reels on his heels and stomps away. Kids. Check my head, smiling. Thank you, Laura, for everything. 
Thank you for all your artwork. In the end, you turned out to be a pretty good turnaround runner. And you turned out to be a pretty good, co a pretty good mentor. I'll never get tired of hearing those compliments from you. Laura smiles at me gently. Good night, Irena. Good night, Laura. I leave the tavern that night with a heart so light it, it feels like I could take off flying any moment. Past and future. Okay, let me save because it's a new chapter. Oh yes, it's a wedding! I forgot it's a wedding! Oh my god. We are here on this day to unite two kindred souls. Two kindred souls. The minister's words ring loud and clear in the calm silence. His voice is an anchor, rooting me in this surreal moment. I have dreamed for, of, for months. I wonder, is Waltz as nervous as I am? The minister claps his, his book shut. Before I proclaim you joined by marriage, to must seal this pack with a kiss. I step forward toward the altar and hold my hands while she is for mine at the same time. I love this so much. I love this. This. It's so pretty. I love it so much. And I don't know if like what I like the most. It's. How walls is dressed up and paint and his hair combed, or if it's how we look, because oh my god, we look so pretty, so beautiful. I, I love the hair and the makeup on it, the flower crown. Oh my god, I love it. I love this image. I'm going to stare at it. I'm going to stare at this image. I really love this. From all the images I've seen so far, this is the prettiest, and I just noticed something that I didn't notice before. We both are sharing the same crystal in our necks. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but we have this crystal here, and also is this crystal here. They are different colors from before, but that is exactly the same crystal that would appear in the previous game whenever we did a good choice. Uh, four volts would be like or Polish greenish, I believe. So the color is different, but it's also to match the both the accessories and the color, the gold lines that we have. That's so pretty. Also, it's also the crystal that appears whenever we use magic. It's like the crystal appears in this in the center of the magic circle. Time seems to stop when I'm standing before him. I forget entirely about the small audience we have to and focus entirely on Waltz. His smile is so bright, it makes my heart itch. Hey little star. Hello Waltz. It's hard to believe we're finally here. You think so? I knew it was only a matter of time. The past, the present, everything has led to this moment. And this is only the beginning. I deferred my gaze, briefly embarrassed. You really think I would be a good mother? You would be a good mother. You excel at everything you do. I feel I'm only able to do my best because you are at by my side. Likewise, little star. I love you, Waltz. I love you too, Viviana. We seal our declaration with a kiss. I barely hear... Oh my god. I barely hear the roaring applause of the audience. At this moment, all I hear is Walt's promise echoing in my heart. I love you. This, I know, is the truest love I will ever feel. I hold on to this. Uh, I hold on to this moment for as long as I can, knowing I will remember this for the rest of my life. 
my mind is fuzzy when I wake up or when I wake the next day. Last night's celebration was exhausting. Wonderful, but physically draining. The last thing I remember is nearly falling asleep in the garden and was carrying me to bed before ever anyone noticed. Welcome back, me and Amina. You missed it. You missed our wedding. Waltz? I turned to see him lying beside me, twirling a strand of my hair around his finger. Okay, let me see. You missed our wedding. See? You missed this. I had just ended that when you said it. Don't you look so pretty? Oh my god, I love this image. Can I save it? <laughs> I need to screenshot this. I need to screenshot this. Doesn't she and he look pretty? T they, look, they look so pretty together. Like the way they are dressed and everything is so. I love it. Good morning, little sir. How long have you been up? Just a few minutes. He smiles. You were talking in your sleep. Hmm? And you didn't bother to wake me up? I would have, but it sounded like you were having such an interesting conversation with Dream Me. Sensitive couple? What do you mean by that? Dream you? I bolt out of bed, horrified. You're teasing me. Waltz props himself up and his elbow and arches and arches an eyebrow. Am I? If you'll not tell me what I said, then I will assume you're lying. Hmm. Well, it sounded like the two of us were in the bath and you... Never mind, I decided I'm not interested. I'm actually interested. <laughs> was laughs when I threw a pillow at him. What a wonderful way to start our married life. Like when you mean sensitive is like um uh I think I know what you mean. I'm just I also can put it with more so help you. Um but yeah I I mean okay I'm I th I think I know what you mean, yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, how very regal of us, the king and queen of Angel, be to be throwing pillows at each other in the morning. Also, get me wide eyed. I only realize why belatedly. Hi, Boshu, how are you? Um, to be fair. This game is shorter than the previous one. This is actually the sequel. So, second, there is five guys and two different endings for each guy. So, uh, yeah. And in this game, each, each route has six chapters, while in the previous one, each route had ten chapters. That's why I said the other one was longer than this one. No, no. Mina, you are a girl. There is no choice in, us, in if you are a boy or not, so there is no BL. It's, it's only hetero. It's only straight. But also, we are ending this game actually today. Today is the last day. This is the last route, the last ending, the last boy, the best boy. And we are chapter 5 and we have um, more this chapter and chapter 6 to, end, to finish, so... Today is the day that 
we finish this. Yeah, I to be fair, the first thing that caught my attention to this um, to this company because this company has this game, the previous the prequel, and another one that you can only find, I believe, on Israel was Arsile. Arsile changed from the Cinderella from like in the three games there are changes as obvious the creators tend to change their art style with uh, how they progress with their art but I love it a lot then it was with fairy tales that I'm sorry but for some reason I love fairy tales I don't know why I love them so it was another thing that caught my attention to it and then the boys some of them are but there are others that I'm like, no, get away. Not because they are ugly. Just because who they are or their personality. And what I mean by who they are, it's in this game, one of them is our stepbrother. Not blood related, but still. No. I have a notification, sorry. Okay. But yeah. What? A married, you marry the queen? It's only a matter of time until you, your crowning ceremony. You have been studying for this for months, remember? Oates falls back on the bed, arm over his eyes. He laughs a little breathly, breathlessly. Also, watch it, this is a visual novel. Visual novels are long games, normally. At least from my experience and from what I see. Me, the king of Angel? Who would have ever thought? I think you'd look ex excellent in a crown. I sat on myself on the edge of bed, both sits up and runs a hand through his hair. You weren't the only one having dreams last night. Oh, well, what were you dreaming of? The past. He looks at me questioningly. As if asking for permission to speak, I fold my hands on my lap and look at him expectantly. Mina, I think this is like one of those moments where on the um, the way we were meeting sensitive couple. <laughs> it was a dream, but it was also memory. Meat was in it. Besides, when we were both taken on as apprentice to Ilder. She used it to pit us against each other. It was how she trained us. Meat is a witch I used to know as Mithras. He was one of my father's closest advisors and a traitor. I don't remember him growing up. Boss tells me that is because mother kept Meat close. You knew of his existence because he was kept close within the palace walls. Sometimes I cannot help but wonder what would have happened if I hadn't been able to befriend him. If I had been able to befriend him, would I have been able to save him from mother? In the dream, memory, a burning of Mitt's hands, what pinches the bridge of his nose. I remember I felt terrible about it. Witches can't heal, but I tried to convince him to let me help treat his wa the wand. He refused, and then Ilder came in and she told him he deserved it, didn't she? Well, it's not. She said it was his punishment for being weak. Worse, she praised me for landing and hit on him. Mother used to say similar things to me. She believed that only the strong had the right to survive. I felt awful about it. That night, I came to your room. It was all I could do to keep from crying. I don't think you know this, but you were awfully perceptive. You noticed how quiet I was, and then you grabbed my hands and asked me if I wanted to help you make a puppet. You remember that dream? That in a dream? I'm not surprised. That moment was very important to me, you know? It was the first time I felt like you'd let me into your heart. I slid close and enough to lean into him. When was it that you started letting him into your heart? Oz wraps an arm around my shoulders and kisses the top of my head. 
You wiggled your way into my heart the first time I met you. You're just that bright little star. Besides, softly on my hair. I can't help but think about my students when I think of Mid. He was a great student with so much potential. That Ilder was ruthless. She didn't know how to teach empathy. I wish I could have saved him from himself before he, came, he became too corrupted. So the answer there was nothing you could have done. You can make a difference now. I wish meat was still alive so that was possible. Check my head. <laughs> you said it yourself. You think about meat every time you teach. You teach because you want those witches to have the education you both never did, right? Why are you looking at me like that? Well, smiles. You know me better than I know myself, Diviana. You're right, as always. I can't do anything to change the past, but I can make sure my students have a proper education. And that they learn to love magic as it should be loved. As means to protect and assist others not to destroy things. If anyone can teach them that, it's you, Walt. I have faith in that your future, our future, will be a bright one. Especially now that we are married. Both screens and I, when I blush. Thought it never mattered to you what we, that we weren't married? It didn't. But now that we are, I fully intend on gushing about you as my wife to everyone I know. I elbow him in the side. Please don't. I look up, my gaze nagging on the clock. We are extremely late for breakfast. Why did none of the servants call for us, for me? Well, we had a big day yesterday and have the anniversary today. Everyone probably thought it would be good to let us rest while we could. You could. Alright, the anniversary. I am suspiciously. I hope you did not plan any grand event for today. Nothing like that, but I'm still convincing you're going to love it. Convinced you're going to love it. Walt stands and holds out a hand. Shall we add that? Yes. Walt and I walk to the dining hall hand in hand. When we arrive, the usual group is already there, along with our two guests. Good morning, newly wet. Good morning, Your Majesty. Your Prince Lance looks at Walt, a concerned look on his face. Walt is fine. Good morning, Lord Walt. Cloud sighs. You're as stiff as always, Rama. And you are far too cold, cold look, quill, karma. I can't say that word. I take my seat at the table and glance at Ophelia, who sits in front of me. Congratulations again, it took. You were quite the handsome couple yesterday. They weren't they? They were so pretty. Yes, you look at stunning, Diviana. I'm glad the ceremony wasn't rushed. Rushed? Well, you planned all these mere days before the ceremony was set to happen. You barely had time for re rehearsal. Cloud abruptly looks up. About that, I have a complaint. Karma, please. Quiet, Lama. He furrows his eyebrows at me. Were you not going to invite us to your wedding, darling? You had no idea we'd be in Angel when you made that proposal, after all. No. I did not. Cloud deflates. Truly, I am wounded. I shake my head. This was a ceremony for the two of us. It's true, I wanted friends there if they could make it. But the grand ceremony with the novels in attendance will probably happen next month. Be that it, as it may, I am glad you and Lance were able to we were there yesterday, Cloud. 
Quell reflects my smile back at me. Me too, your majesty. Please expect an extravagant gift from Gantia on the day of your second ceremony. Please also consider this a warning, your majesty. My brother's gifts are known to be overwhelming. This does not surprise me, the slightest. Hi, Kiefer, how are you? Wait, I was lurking on your stream. Let me... Let me close it. How are you? How was your stream? Did you have fun? Wait, do I I think I have. Yeah, I have. Shout out. Go follow the fish. You're welcome. And Kiefer. Good... Uh, I don't know if you are driving or not, but... Uh, be careful on your way to... Your life responsibilities as an older brother. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw. I was lurking. I was lurking. I was in the shadows. But yeah, welcome raiders. Or Kiefer and who came on Kiefer's raid. If you need to go, lurk, take care of yourself. Need to attend any responsibilities. I'm looking at, at Kiefer. Feel free to do so. I'm not holding anyone here against your will. I'm not pointing any guns. So feel free to do whatever you need or want for who doesn't know me. My name is Ivina Luna Lepus, the audition for short, I'm a human hair hybrid. Normally do arts and scraft streams, gaming streams, or present or no. Arts and scraft streams, pretty streams or gaming streams I can do right now. People was the one being productive. So if anyone is interested, these are my social medias. And I'm also part of Virtuality Magazine, a magazine for VTubers from VTubers. So yeah. Even though you are not driving, uh, be careful on your way. Yeah. Also, we are playing a visual novel, so um, you probably hear me eagle from time to time. So yeah. Brad cough and coughs. Are you going to eat? Your breakfast is getting cold, and we were waiting for you to finish before we drink tea. Boss lifts his glass with a bright smile. To late morning breakfast with friends. <laughs> it is ridiculous, yeah, and yet everyone raises a glass and to toast him. To the queen and future queen, king of Angel! May your future always be bright. I love Ophelia. She is the best stepmother from fairy tales that I have seen until now or remember. As Waltz and I turned to our food, a conversation everyone had been having around the table before Waltz and I returned resumes. There's really no reason for you to want to host me. Of course there is. We enjoy having guests. It's true. We love having Princess Emmeline. You should come with her this time. What are you all talking about? Before you arrived, I invited Ro to stay in Brugantia. We host Princess Emmeline all the time, after all. I think Ro would like it there as well. Brugantia has a vibrant nighttime scene. There's always a lot of dancing and singing. So you're inviting me to what? Dance and sing? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, f thank you for the raid again. Bye bye Kiefer, enjoy Enjoy your responsibilities as a brick brother. We are proud of you. Cloud laughs. Only if you want to. It will be a good time, Rod. You should come. You're always talking about exploring your hobbies and passions. Maybe Burgantia is where you'll find them. You would even get away from studying for a while. Rod crosses his arms. Fine, I'll go. It's settled then. We'll focus on, on arrangements after today's festivities. The animated conversation carries into our tea time. As much as I want to stay and hear the details, I have other things I must do today before my speech. 
Excuse me, everyone. I have a few errands I need to run. Are you sure you don't need any help? I set a hand on Walt's shoulder as I rise. No, I'd much rather you enjoy yourself here. You can catch up on everything tomorrow. If you're, you're certain, I'll inform and whisper. One of us at least should be a gracious elf. Good point. Maybe I'll try performing some magic tricks. You are still m very much a child, aren't you? Old smiles sweetly at Claude. No need to get so worked up about my magic. At ease, small one. <laughs> I love this too. I, I love when they go like this. Claude responding, Claire, is so immediate, it takes me laugh. Also, I like how later on Claude uses the same exact expression that Waltz used for Cena, if I'm not mistaken. I love that. I shall see you all later. I finish up my last. Uh, yeah? I finish up the last of my tea before heading to the throne room. I spend an hour in the throne room, speaking with various witch and fairy representatives. I am interviewing for positions on my new council. I mean what I said to Laura the other day. I want to expand my council so that includes not just human voices but fairies and witches as well. So far, all the applicants have been extremely qualified, which makes the selection proce process more difficult as I am only accepting 8 new seats. Pinch the bridge of my nose as the most recent applicant leaves the throne room. Well, that was the last applicant. Is there a reason he decided to interview them today before a big festival? You've gone, a, you've gone from being overwhelmed to suddenly doing everything at once. I had a burst of inspiration after speaking, speaking with Sina. I called both Laura and Sina here today to help me speak with the candidates. Laura has been my teacher for years, and Sina is not only the Lucy's bearer, but the one who inspired this idea in the first place. It makes sense to have them both here. Understandable. Of course you would say that. Still, remember not to overwork yourself, Your Majesty. Don't worry. After all this is done, Waltz and I plan on taking a much needed vacation. Speaking of Waltz, it is rare to see you conducting this sort of business without him. Waltz has been by my side this entire time, but my duties are still my own. I thought it would be the uh, I thought it would be best to start this pro this process without Waltz and catch him up on his on things later. I hope you aren't still trying to prove yourself a worth to bear and bearer by taking on too much work to or uh, can speak what happened to me. Um I hope you aren't still trying to prove yourself a worth to bearer bearer by taking on too much work for yourself. No, I am simply striving to be better. I will let my actions speak for themselves. Laura crosses her arms. Spoken like a true witch queen. The title startles me. Which queen? Well, if you think about it, that's what you are, isn't it? Never mind the fact that you are... you're a halfling. Details! Which queen? Like my mother. Titles are just that. Titles. We inject new meanings into them all the time. I wonder if I could accomplish such a thing with that title. Anyways, since that was the last applicant for the day, I assume you want us to excuse ourselves so you can make preparations for the speech? The speech is in about an hour. I wonder if I have time to do that other thing that has been on my mind. Yes, we're done for the day. Thank you both for assisting me. It's an honor, Mr. Barbera. Sina shrugs. It's my duty to help you keep things balanced. That's the only reason I'm here. You can you can admit you look up to Diviana. 
I think she'd appreciate hearing that from you. Amazingly, Sina doesn't say anything that's to that, which means... Thank you, Sina. I look up to you too. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs> they look so much like brother and sister, I love it. Sina turns on his heels and walks away. Zora flashes me one last screen before trailing him out of the room. After they leave, I am alone in the room. With just a handful of knights sitting here in this quiet, atop of this throne, the weight of everything to come suddenly crashes down on my shoulders again. But I will no longer be coward. I am looking forward to facing this challenge with Waltz. I stand and wave one of the knights over. Are Lady Jorian and Sir Garland preoccupied right now? The Commander Sir Garland are organizing the security around town. Hmm, I wouldn't want to bother them. Your Majesty, may I speak freely? Of course. Sir Fritzgerald has been looking for you all morning. He's on break, but I think he is waiting outside to speak with you. Perfect, I would rather do this thing with someone who will not ask too many questions. Wait a signification. Then I will not make him wait. Thank you for letting me know. I dismiss the knight and that for the exit. The minute I step outside, Fritz suddenly appears before me. Your Majesty! Fritz bows low before me. The promotion Jurian gave me. I had to come and thank you in person. Alright, I was wondering when Jurian would tell him about the promotion. You do not need to thank me for everything you earned, it, Fritz. But I do. It was your belief in me that allowed me to stay here. I will, not for I will forever be grateful if you gave me another chance to prove myself. What happened two years ago was not your fault, Fritz. Still... Still nothing. But if you would like to thank me, perhaps you could do me a favor. Anything. Accompany me to the dungeons. Hmm? But why? I need to visit a prisoner. The witch you just recently tried uh, you just recently tried in court? The one who was guilty? A pang goes through my heart at his words. It is true. We managed to get Arzenis to confess. He did so without any guilt. He said he would rather rot in the dungeons than have a s serve a queen he did not believe in. Yes, that witch. May I ask why? We shall see when we get there. Just for Fritz to follow after me, and the two of us make our way to the d dungeons. The dungeons are cold and dreary as always. I force a neutral expression onto my face as I approach the witch's hell. I find him sitting across, legged on the ground, staring up at the ceiling. What do you want, soft heart? He angles his head to look at me with disdain. You do not get to speak to your majesty like that. It's okay for it. I approach the bars. Did not get to bring this up in court because I had nothing to do with the proceedings. But I wanted to let you know I am adding witches to, the, my, to my council. The witch stares at me, baffled. Why would you tell me this? Is this some kind of trick? No trick, just the truth. You said I'm not like my mother. You're right. My mother lied and manipulated others. She saw things in black and white, good and bad. But we are all more complicated than that. My mother only took the counsel of witches that kneeled before her. Through, through fear. That was also wrong. So I'm doing things differently. My way. I thought I ought to let you know since you were so concerned with my lack of effort. The witch leans back against the wall with a sigh. So yes, 
Humans will always be afraid of things they don't understand. They will always fear those who have more power than them. This ideal peace you speak of is impossible. Hmm. Perhaps. Hmm? Majesty. There is no such thing as true peace. There will always be a, a be a evil and dissent. Such is the nature of society. But we can incorporate structures that will help us deal with those injustices fairly. Even if an ideal is unobtainable, I do not think it is foolish to work for it regardless. That is the difference between my mother and I. She gave up. The only solution she was interested in was bloodshed. But violence be be begets more violence. Will not pit humans and witches against each other. I will never take the sides that is my duty, as both the Tenebrum Bearer and the Queen of Angel. The witch exile exiles softly. Perhaps it is a trick of the light, but it looks like he's smiling. There is nothing more painful than putting your heart into something that will inevitably fall fail. Perhaps. But I would much rather try than giving than give up. You have a more have more of a backbone than I thought, Your Majesty. Majesty. He actually is of my title. This has been an enlightening talk. I still think it's all foolish, a foolishness, but I appreciate hearing of this from your own mouth. It is my duty as bearer to watch over the witches in the, of this kingdom. You are included in that duty, even if you do not consider me your queen. I step away from the bars. That is all I came here. I came down here to say good, good day. I turn, I turn and walk away. Fritz trailing behind me. Your Majesty, that was foolishness. I know. No, that was amazing. You're the most fearless person I know. Oh. The two of us make our way back to the above ground corridors. You know. The... Thank you for accompanying me, Fritz. Of course, feel free to call me whenever you need me. Your Majesty? I shall. And Fritz? Yes? You can use my name every once in a while, you know? Oh, uh... Of course, Queen Viviana. Better. Will you be at an Irsari festival today? Yes, Lady Jurian gave me the day off. I'll be visiting the, bar in the bakery today. I heard they have a lot of special baked goods. If you happen to see a store by the fountain with a floral top, I highly recommend their chocolate almond crans and croissant. They're exquisite. I never knew Fritz had a sweet tooth. I shall do that. Thank you, Fritz. Until next we meet, your ma... Queen de Vienna. Fritz bows before excusing himself. I head in the opposite direction, through the front gates, where I am to give my speech. Based on the reception on the, of the audience, my speech is well received. I tell the audience of the endeavors I have already discussed with Bolt. I tell them about my intention to make my, every voice in my kingdom heard. I promise that I will judge every crime based on their sin, not a sinner. It does not matter who the criminal is, human, witch or fairy. All shall be judged equally. I tell them my hopes for the future that Angel will be a peaceful place where everyone gets along, no matter who their neighbor is. And lastly, I would like to introduce someone who I believe can expand on my efforts, though I'm sure you all know who it is. Everyone, please welcome Waltz Cresswell to the stage. I still love this!
The audience bursts into wild applause as Walt steps into place beside me. Hello everyone, it's an honor for me to be here on stage speaking with you all. With all of you. Please excuse my blunderness. Blunders. I'm used to being a sta on stage as a performer. I'm still working on politics. This prompts some chuckles from the audience. Walt uses the disclaimer at the beginning of every speech, but he's just as good a speaker as he is a performer. He has always had a gift for putting others at ease. Not a day goes by that I don't remember the Great War. It's true I suffered Lady Ilder then. She stole many things from me. My family, my free will, my heart. And I follow her because without those things I was lost. My whole life, I've been trying to remind myself. I will never forget the past. It's true, it can't be changed. But it's only through acknowledging it can, uh, it's that we can push forward. My goal is, and will always be, to help build a brighter future. One with which the crystals are balanced and everyone is happy. It is an honor to make that dream a, real, a reality alongside Queen Diviana, the Tanner Barabara. Walsh's speech is well received, which is unsurprising. After introducing Cena, he turned me at the back of the stage. You were phenomenal as always, little star. And you were a natural and on stage like always. Well, I had a good teacher. Me? Of course. I've watched you give speech every month for two years. Don't think I haven't been taking notes. When will you let me learn something from you? Well, you learn ma that's something that I didn't like the first time. It's like, well, teacher does magic. He he and Laura were the ones who teach us magic, so technically we already learned something from him. So, mm -hmm. you're welcome to my, come to my magic lessons, but I doubt you need them. Still, I hope you'll come to visit the students more often. I would like that. More applause follows in a speech. He, like Waltz and I, speaks at length about balancing the crystal and make things right equal between the fairies, witches and humans. At the end of the speech, all three of us come to the front of the stage to deliver our final words. This time, when the, t the audience cheers, they throw lilies on the into the stage the response brings a smile to my face. I remember what Sina said about wishes and making them come true on our own. I will dedicate myself to Angel for the rest of my days. I will make sure our future is as br a bright one. After the speech, the townspeople approach with their pockets and well wishes. The air is filled with jubilant conversation as they come to, the, to offer their praise. It is more overwhelming today than any other day in the year, but with Walt's help, the two of us managed to speak to everyone. By the time we are done, all we want is to sit on a bench and relax, but we've got to some time before the surprise I planned. Maybe we could use the free time to treat ourselves to something delicious? I remember what Fritz said about there being a bunch of timid bacon goods around town today. I mentioned some stall with almond chocolate croissant. What are you in the mood for? This we clearly knew it was the candy apple. Because Waltz loved those, even though we hate those, Waltz loved those. When I mean us, I mean myself. I don't mean the MC of this. A nostalgic of you. But they are clearly the superior trait. I can always pick up a croissant later. Agreed. Walt holds out his hand. I take it and allow him to lead me through uh, toward his fa our favorite stall. The stall owner we have been visiting for years is there and smiles at us brightly when we arrive. Vindiviano, Lord Waltz. The man bows deeply. 
It is, as always, an honor to serve you both. Thank you for your thoughtful speeches today. What will you two have today? The usual, please. Always a good choice. Walt digs into his pocket for coins for the merchant, but the man refuses to take them when he hands us our apples. I can't take money from you, especially not today. Please, they are my treat. Thank you. Thank your majesty. Your patronage is the greatest honor. Watson and I sat along the nearby bench to eat the apples. But when I reached to take mine from him, he lifts my, my apple into the air away from me. Oh. Huh? Oh. It takes a bite. I thought he was going to kiss us. I thought it was a trick at kiss. He takes a bite from his and shows for a few moments before finally adding my ending my apple. A mischievous smile on his face. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure they weren't poisonous. I gather electricity at my fingertips and shock him in the shoulder while she laughs. Remember what I said years ago when I first treated it to those into these apples? Other than that some poison apple comment, he said you will always remember that day. Well, it's not. I never forget how happy you look at that day. You told me you were fulfilling a promise you made me long ago. But that's right. You had always wanted to try all the desserts around town, but couldn't leave the palace. And now, here we are. Boss kisses the top of my head. Right, here we are. After the two of us finish our dessert, Walt stands and offers me a hand. It's about time for our your surprise, I think. Last year, Walt used his magic to craft arch archways made of lilies in the main plaza for me to walk through. I hope he didn't do. Uh, he did not go out of his way to do something like that this year. I'm both excited and nervous. Don't be nervous. I know you're going to love this. He winks at me. Would you mind closing your eyes? What? Please. A surprise is not a surprise if you can see it. If you can see it. He leans closer to me, close enough to whisper in my ear. Don't worry, little star. I'll guide you. Fine, if you insist. I close my eyes and hold tight to Walt's hands, letting him lead me to his surprise location. We're almost there. I hear jubilant chatter as we pass through lively crowds, but I cannot focus on any of their conversations. All I hear is a loud thudding of my own heartbeat. And then... I hear a door open. Walt leads me carefully through an opening. Open your eyes, little star. I open my eyes to find myself in a familiar space. I recognize it immediately. My home away from home. Martian Tavern. Surprise! Hmm? I love this image so much too because, like, it's not like fully like an image from a scene like the other ones, but it's like one of the few moments that there is so many characters on screen, and there are so many of our friends. Uh, if I could, I would hug them all. All of my friends stand before me clapping and laughing at my surprise. I am too shocked to even be embarrassed. It has been a long time, too long, since I saw them together, here together. They're gapping, Your Majesty. Your Majesty has a reason to be surprised. It's been years since we, we were all here. The last time we were, our lovely queen was but a princess. And now she's the most powerful woman in all the land. That's some impressive character development. Parrots, huh? You speak as if we were characters in a fairy tale. Also, I love the break of the fourth wall on this one. I believe this is like the only time they break the fourth wall and I love it. Good thing we aren't, hmm? 
it'd be a little disappointing if this were just a story. It would make a good tale for a bar tale, wouldn't it? Walt, Walt wraps an arm around my shoulders and pulls me closer. Surprise, Vienna. I don't understand. What are you all doing here? We are here for you, your majesty. It's the broom. <laughs> I forgot about the broom. I love that the broom is just... I'm here too. We haven't let the broom out of the closet for today. Oh no. This is Mary's favorite character of them all. The broom hops into my arms before I can step away. Thankfully, it does not force me to clean anything. It just seems jittery with excitement. I suppose it is good to see you again, Mr. Broom. The broom hops around us all in celebration. Despite my best efforts, I cannot stop myself from laughing. Thank the gods Lance wasn't invited. You're just glad he's not here to steal all the attention away from you. It does not steal the attention from away from me. You're clearly in denial, Prince. Just small one. <laughs> this is the one I said. That he just took that from Walt. What did he just call me? Oh, tiny lord, I wouldn't. Comment on my height one more time and I'll smash a share over your head. He will not. <laughs> and he approaches and takes my hand as the banter continues. It was Walt's suggestion? He thought you might enjoy dinner with friends for a change of pace. Friends. The word made my eye fog with tears. Once upon a time, I did not have friends. Now I have many of them. And I am so incredibly grateful for all of them. I made your favorites for tonight. I hope you like them. And he suddenly looks nervous. Your Majesty? I realize I'm crying in earnest now. Wall sweeps a straight tear away. You okay, little star? Everything about this is perfect, Waltz. Good. I like to think I know you pretty well. I turn back to Anis. Please, Anis. I would love dinner. Anis claps her hands together and raises her voice loud enough for everyone to hear. Dinner time, everyone! Everything is on the house, including the hot chocolate! As everyone cheers and follows after Anis, I turn to Waltz. Thank you, Waltz, for everything. No me! Hi! How are you? Did you rest properly? Waltz pulls me into an embrace. No, thank you, little star. The two of us share a quick kiss beneath the tavern lights before we follow the group into the reception area. Tonight, I forgot I am queen and the Tenebra bearer. I hope at least my good news to you helped you somehow. And my cat too. You can check my cat on Discord, on my Discord server. You have a cat picture there. I hope that helps you too. Tonight, I'm just Viviano. A girl who is in he who is here at a Martian tavern to enjoy good food and good company. The Queen and the King of Angel <gasps> Yes I mean what? Yes, Nomi, look at the title. Look at the title and cry a tear. <laughs> like in the good in the good ending, the last chapter was called also Past and Future. Was like a continuation of the fifth one. 
This one is the Queen and the King of Angel. So Waltz is finally getting the crown and Waltz is finally accepting it. But at the same time, I it's the end of it. This is the last chapter. I've been playing this since I was like in uni, which is like seven years ago by now. And I'm talking about Cinder of Phenomena even more. I'm not even talking about the first game that they launched, the skill launcher that was Lock at Heart and I played that in high school. So <laughs> it's been a journey. <laughs> It's been a journey for me, and I'm so sad I didn't launch more games like this, because these were just amazing. I'm just sad they, they launched the three games and that's it. Hello again, mother, father. What steps for... Oh, wait, I didn't save. Save it just in case, because you never know. Paul steps forward to place a single flower between his parents' graves. It is early morning. The two of us teleported here soon after we woke. It was Walt's single request for today. He wanted to tell his parents the news. Today is a very special day after all. I brought Ivana with me today. My wife. <laughs> wife? I still cannot believe we are we are finally married. Yeah, and I can't even speak it. I move to stand beside Waltz. Hello again. I come to tell you both about the ceremony happening today. Waltz shifts on his feet. The motion makes him look nervous. It is a first show of anxiety I have seen from him today. I gently take his hand and squeeze it reassuringly. It's been a busy few of months since we married, but I think Waltz is ready now for the crowning ceremony. <laughs> Glad I have your vote of confidence. It is not just mine. Everyone else feels the same way to you. You have been helping me rule this kingdom for two years. You know the policies inside and out by the now. Walt turns back to the graves. He chuckles. It is a soft, anxious, anxious sound. I can't believe I'm saying this, but yes, today is a crowning ceremony. Today, Walt officially becomes the king of Angel. Holds grip, uh, grip on my hand, and we grows loose. He stumbles, walking silently like a man trying to balance himself on a sway swaying ship. Waltz, are you okay? He just laughs, that soft, carefree laugh I have always loved. I just can't believe it. I've never been on one for titles. The Progeny, Peter Pan, Magician. Those all felt like expectations other people put on me. King of Angel isn't just a title though, it's an honor. I'm still in denial I get to accept it today. Thank you for that, Pat. He shakes his head, his eyes bright with wonder. Thank you. You are so confident, little star. You are made to rule the kingdom. You are diligent and hardworking and wise beyond your ears. And I feel terribly inadequate next to you. That isn't like you, Walt Creswell. Not only are you one of the most capable people I've ever known, but you are also one of the bravest and most confident. Oh, he's blushing! <laughs> he's blushing, look at him. He's blushing, so cute. You've done everything you could and more for NGL. You say, I was made for this, but so were you. The throne has been waiting for someone like you. Good night, Mina, sleep well. 
and stretch before bed. Boss pulls me toward him, wrapping an arm around my shoulders and pressing a kiss on my head. Yeah, 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 we will, we will. You always know exactly what to say. I like to think I know you pretty well by now. Oh, that's what something he said to us. Oh. I glanced toward the graves. Last time we were here, the quiet felt oppressive. Today, the silence is serene. It's red. I don't know to say that. Waltz turns his attention back to the graves. You see why I fell in love with Diviana all these years ago? I was talking to his parents. Mm. I thought you were here to tell them about the ceremony, not me. I can bring you here and not flatter you in front of my parents. He plants another quick kiss on my head before letting go of my hand and kneeling in front of the graves. He dips his head and begins to whisper speaking words to his parents that are not for me to hear. I move to lean against a nearby tree so as to give him some space. I gaze at Waltz from afar. It is hard to believe when we first met he was cursed into the form of a boy. I was running from men who wanted to steal my gold back, but uh, gold then, but and um, oh my god, I can speak. I was running from men who wanted to steal my gold back then. I remember Waltz and Claude were there to rescue me and take me back to the tavern. That was also something. The two boys I was most interested in this game was the, ga the guys that rescued us. So I'm just like. Oh, it's hitting hard now. Also, thank you for the redeems. And before that, I saw Waltz in town with Emmeline performing magic. He offered me Lily, which I refused. I did not understand why I looked so sad. That, that was that was actually really sad when I discovered what ha what actually happened between Waltz and us as a child. Waltz was waiting all those years for me. Well, no longer. And there is no reason for us to postpone this. We've been both ready for a long time. The sun passes overhead, throwing shards of glimmering sunlight across the forest floor as the leaves quiver in the wind. The shifting sun reminds me of our quickly diminishing time. Waltz? Waltz rises from his crouch. I'm ready to go. Then let us return. As Waltz well is conjuring a, por a portal, I approach the gravestones. I set a hand on one of the rocks. I have never had the honor of knowing you, but I want you to know I love your son dearly. Oh my god! He calls me his little star, but in truth, I think he shines more brightly than I do. His unflagging optimist and dedication have kept me afloat. Viviana? Waltz writes patiently by the portal. Coming. I brush my hands across the stone, one last time, before falling Waltz into the portal. The rest of the day is chaotic on account of all of our preparations. Dignitaries and representatives from in and out of our kingdom wander in the corridors, conversing about all manners of things. Welcome back, Zeph. Our maj your majesty, the royal seamstress, says your dress is ready. You arrive at the time to see Waltz get crowned, get be uh, being crowned king. One maid stops abruptly in front of me, frizzled. She bows belatedly. We're sorry to interrupt, we just... It's fine. Please, send the seamstress to my room. Understood. I turn to Waltz, who has helped me run errands through the day. 
he has been introducing himself to people, he has only ever responded with via letter. It's hard to believe the day is just beginning. What with everything going on? You don't remember how much upheaval there was when I was crowned? Things are busy, but you're going to want to imprint these memories in your mind forever, it is. A special day. I know. My own coronation came shortly after the kingdom was saved. It was a tumultuous, uncertain time. Things are much calmer now. So the magic incidents have not stopped. They are less frequent. I like to think it's because the council that helps me make decisions now has representatives from all over NGL. For the first time, there are humans, witches, and fairies on the council. The Tenebrarum and Mandlusis are the most stabilized that they have been in years. Finally, things are beginning to look up. Now is the perfect time for your coronation. If the Queen of Angel says so, then it must be true. Viviana? We turn to see Ophelia approaching with Emmeline and a few maids trailing her. Emmeline is practically pouncing on her feet. Viviana, what were you still doing here? We need to get you ready. It's imp imperative you look reg regal today. I agree. <laughs> look at this menacing face. You just want us to see us. That goes for you too. I personally had the seamstress make you an outfit for the coronation. I know, I know, but no matter what I wear, you will always be the one who shines brightest, as it should be. Well, this is your coronation. Ophelia chuckles. But you are still the queen of Angel, and must look the part, and you must look the part. Come now. I saw, I hope you can get the tickets, Nomi. We'll see you later, Walt. Yeah, yeah, cheering for Nomi. Good luck on the ticket wars. Emmeline and Ophelia began to pull me away. I desperately cast a glance off my shoulder, but Waltz just looks amused. Don't worry, little star. I'm not sure the rest of the Russians are taken care of. He waves as Ophelia and Emmeline pull me around the corner. In my room, I am fussed over by an overwhelming amount of people all of whom poke and prod at me until we, they determine that I look perfect. When I voice my concerns that Walt is the focus, everyone waves the words away. Nonsense. This is, this is very every bit your accomplishment, accomplishment as Waltz. The two of you are going to rule together after all. The music is so loud. Exactly! You have to look stunning! The two of them remain after I have dismissed the, the pile of stuff. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Nomi. You look stunning, dear. Like a queen out of a fairy tale. Oh my god, we look so pretty. And mature, we look very adult. I'd like to think this is more real than a fairy tale. True, fairy tales have happy endings, but then they skim over the best details. Hi Venka, how are you? Right, the hair and the crown and everything. Oh my god, wait, Venka has his own shout out. And I'm not evil, Denka. I'm not evil. Well, then you are wrong because I did one jump scare and two pipe throwing and two pipe falling, so 
That's not on me, Danko. Sorry. That is what makes the love we achieve in reality better than the fairy t that ah my god. That is what makes the love we achieve in reality better than any fairy tale love. Real love is more complicated and profound. Ophelia just the clasps on my shoulders and shakes the length of the cape. No, I just know. I didn't count, I just know. Like, know me, look, with the earrings, like everything is so perfect, like the gold colors get. It's so pretty. I don't, to be honest, I don't know if I like more these outfits or the wedding outfits. They're both amazing. And if, like, if I go back to the blue dress that I, remember, I think, like, we wore with. Wall Street and Karma's route, this still goes up on that. Like if I do a tier list, these and the wedding uh, go be go above the blue dress that we wore with Rod, Fritz and Karma. Oh my god! Thank you both for helping me. Of course. Where is Rod? He's making sure every noble knows where to sit when the throne room doors open. He's also um, making sure the Almond brothers don't fight in front of everyone. I didn't bully Denka. He was being degenerate. And one, sometimes he was being degenerate and one of the times was just because he was calling me evil. There'll be a much welcome sight in the audience. You remind me of something I wanted to forget. You're being a degenerate, Danka. What of my friends? All here and counted for. I've prepared the, the seats so that they have a front row view. Perfect. The music is so loud. I turn to look at myself in the mirror. I barely recognize the woman who looks back at me. When I first wore the crown, this crown, I felt too heavy for me. I was still craving then, and I fear the weight of the future. Now. I reach up to adjust it with a smile. Your Majesty? Nomi already gets bonked for not sleeping and dating. Does that help you, Denka? Come in. A servant steps into the room and bows. Oh my god, I can't hear my voice. Wait a second. Lord Waltz on um, His Majesty. He is still Lord Waltz for now. What did he want to tell me? Okay, Link is getting another bonk. He's waiting in the throne room for you. Are you sure this is okay? Doesn't he have to be standing outside when the ceremony starts? It's fine, dear. We still have over an hour before the ceremony begins. Let's Divian and Waltz have some time along together. Oh my god, thank you. She rests a, re a reassuring hand on my back. Probably because it's like and his mother is like no one no entering the kitchen after we are after like 10 p.m. That's normally what I hear from Denka streams is after 10 p.m. He's blocked the size of the kitchen because he makes a noise and his mother then complains Oh, well, it's getting worse Good luck Diviana as per tradition of the ceremony, I'll be crowning Waltz, but 
He is the one who needs to speak his vow to Anshel. He has been practicing this ceremony for weeks to get it right. What? That's nonsense. I hope you know that no matter what happens in the future, we will all be here for you to... Always! Even when you're in Brugantia, doting over a foreign prince? Oh, we are teasing Emeline! Even then! Ophelia laughs as she steers Emeline for the door. I'll clear the corridor for you. See you at the ceremony, Diviana! Goodbye! After the two of them leave, I wait inside for the few moments until the corridor quiets. Even though I'm not the one being crowned today, I nonetheless find myself shaking with nerves. Bonking Denk again! Yay! Right, right, uh, right. Oh my god. After the two of them leave, uh, okay, nervous. So much has happened so fast. Even when I pinch myself, the reality remains, and yet I'm still in denial. Before, this kind of happiness felt impossible, like something meant for someone else. But no, this is a reality. What is waiting for me? I open the door and I head to, for the throne room. Just as Emelene and Ophelia promised, the corridors leading to the throne room are empty and everyone save the knights of the Order of Caldera. Perhaps... Oh my god, the music calmed down, I can hear myself. Is you being happy for starving? That was what is wrong, Denka. You being happy for starving. Perhaps that is why I am not surprised when the first people I see beyond the throne room doors are Jerry and Garland. Her Majesty. Her Majesty. Also, no me, no me, no me. They are engaged. <laughs> they are engaged. I'm so happy for them. Yeah, you do that, Zeph. Then can hide the food when it arrives. They both bow before me. Hello, you two. How are the preparations coming? I don't know how to feel about Denka's statement. I don't know how to feel about that. Everything's ready, my queen. We'll start bringing people in when you give the sign off. She casts a look over her shoulder. Even from here, I can see a lone figure on the throne. I'm not saying that, I just really don't know how to react to that thing. I'm sorry. Like, I don't care about physical appearance that much, so you're telling me that is just like... Good for you, I guess. I, I don't know how to react to that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's assured I'll record Lord Waltz with my life? And I'll be behind you the whole time, your majesty. Exi See, Nomi looks like I just eat whatever I want. That's me. Same. However, I eat more than Nomi. Because Nomi skips meals. Judging you, Nomi. I glance between the nights when we f I first met them. They had been dishonorably discharged from the order because of rightful suspicions. They are worried against Alcaster. Also, can we? Can I just say this? In almost every end, it just gets more and more heavy in like the memories and on my heart because it's ending. 
but this one they are searching in so many things from the previous game and everything that I'm just like this is so perfect to end but at the same time it's ending I don't like it Yeah, she nems, she no, she eats her way through the world. Yeah, that's why I stop. That's why I never counted calori calories, and it always made me like don't like it. I don't know. There is something about diet if it's for. It becoming thinner if it's for getting weight i don't know i just don't like it I, I just eat i just eat that's it i just eat don't say that no me i don't want this to end yeah i'm sorry zef my condolences to you i wasn't i wouldn't be able to do it like you do <laughs> Now here they stand, the two highest ranking knights of the Order of Caldera. Thank you both for your hard work and loyalty. I can't stop staring at us, like we look so pretty. And I just noticed now, we have we have some... Oh my god, what is the name of this in English? Uh, what is the name of this in English? Uh, it's not French. Embroidery? No, no, it's not that. Uh, uh, I don't remember. Lace! Lace! That's it. The lace. We have a little bit of lace here. We will wait for the day that you can eat whatever you want with us, F. We wait for you. Join us again. Thank you both for your hard work and loyalty. It is an honor to serve your majesty. We will make sure everything goes exactly as planned today. I will leave the security in your capable hands. Please do. Shirini exits the room. Perhaps to give Waltz and I more privacy, Garland is following her out when I ask a question. Have you to set a date for your wedding yet? <laughs> so, first it is Evelyn and now we are just like, do you have a date for the wedding? Garland mm. freezes. I... It will be in the spring. That's Shirin's favorite season. Oh. Congratulations! And to you as well, Your Majesty. Thank you for your kind words. He exits, still looking flustered. I laugh as I turn back to Waltz. Even reclining the way he's on the throne, he looks re regal. The sight of him takes my breath away. Hello, little star. Let me show us Waltz! I want to see! Hello, Waltz. Are you so nervous you're sitting in the throne because you can't stand? Please show him. Promise you won't laugh? Promise. I wanted to make sure I set him in it the right way. The last thing I want is to look like a fool in front of everyone. I laugh. Oh, that is most definitely not how to s you sit in a on a throne. He smiles as I approach. His eyes glimmering like distant stars. He looked beautiful, Divina, like magic personified. <laughs> Show us how he looks! I want to see him in his crown coronation outfit! Well, I'm the Tenebrum Bearer, so I suppose that's appropriate. And you? You look very handsome. What's that? Couldn't hear you. You're going to have to step a little closer. I laugh as I step closer, 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 until I'm standing before the throne, Waltz throne. Must I repeat myself? 
If you would be so kind as to whisper in my ear, Waltz. Humor me. No one's going to see it like this. My heart beats an unfreezing rhythm as I slide into Waltz's lap. Oh my god, is with the same um, hairstyle as the wedding. And it keeps the earring! Wait, I, sp I swear I saw lace on the hand. Where is the lace? I swear I saw it. It was like very faint, but it was there. Yeah, yeah. I, s I like how the, uh, the outfit fits him. And I love our cape. And the crown, oh my god. Okay, now you can say it. This is hardly traditional. You know me, Diviana. I have tricks of plenty up my sleeve. I'm hardly a traditional king. I lean close enough that tells n our noses brush. You look very handsome, my king. <laughs> and you, my queen, are the most beautiful woman in the whole world. The two of us laugh. This clothes, our breads intermingle. I am the first man to see you like this today. Uh, technically, Garland just saw us. Garland just saw us, so I'm sorry, Waltz. <laughs> I love it too. This other, oh my god. Couple goals. This are couple goals for me, I'm sorry. I give him a teasing smile. You are. Liar! And lucky man that you are. You'll be the first to see me every day for the rest of our lives. Garland was just in the throne room and saw us like this. Wait. Maybe we don't count Garland as a guy, as a man. Because... First, we are not interested in, in him. Second, is our friend... Third, is our friend's fiance. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe we just don't count Garland as a man. <laughs> well, Slavs. I'm lucky. The luckiest man in the whole world. He presses his forehead to mine. You don't know what I will... Uh, you know that I will always love you, right? Sitting here on the throne together, the two of us are frozen in time. I could sit here looking into Walt's eyes like this forever. Eventually the ceremony must begin. Eventually we must put on formal hairs for the audience. But right now, it is just the two of us and I allow myself the luxury of basking in Walt's arm, warm. I look into his eyes and see the future, this brightest, most beautiful future I could ever dream. I love you, Diviana. Love you too, Walt. Forevermore. Oh, oh my god, our, our dress had two colors! And their love lasted forevermore. <gasps> oh, and the, the achievement is called Forevermore. And we are going to see all of these, I'm not skipping it. I'm sorry. Oh my god, look at him.
I'm just starting to realize that I like I finished this for good. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm happy that we left to Best Buy for the end, still. Wait, this never happened before. Is it because I finished the game? Is it because I finished the game? Wait, is this a hint for something? Because they didn't publish any... They didn't publish more games. And it's been a good amount of years. And that was the first time I saw that. I finished this game more times before, and that was the first time I saw it. Oh, wait, why is Walt's letter the only one that isn't like that? I like it, but still, why? Okay, time to check our gallery. Metadashi, what is Metadashi? I'm done. Oh, yeah. I forgot there there are three there are some things that have three choices. I should do this off stream. But look how much percentage I have of red dialogue. Oh the symbol for it, for it is our crown. Oh I still love that the, the good and the the normal good ending for Claude is from a llama. I love that. From all, if I don't count Rod, because I will not count Rod, from all the endings, the one I like at the least was Rumpel. Just because it did us a... <laughs> he asked us in marriage in the same way that he did for Briar. And that just pissed me off. Like, everything was exactly the way that he asked Briar. His ex fiance and that just pissed me off. But let's see the image. Okay, let's start in here. Let's see all the image before we say goodbye.
I was right, our wedding dress with Karma was different. In my head, I, I, I was thinking that it was different, but now I just, I just confirm it. Yeah, this was the other dress I was talking about. Oh, the dress is different. This is the one similar to Rodan. And best boy for the end. Best boy. Look at us! So pretty, I love this so much. I was. I also noticed that we have another type of color below. I don't think it matches that well. I thought if it was all white, it would be better, though. But it's still pretty. I don't care. And that's the end. That's the end of this journey. That's the end of it. Let me. Which. That's the end of all my Cinderella phenomenon streams, either on the first game, either on the sequel. That's the end of it. So like I said before, I'm going to keep doing visual novel streams every two, two weeks. Uh, I may change the day or the hour, because other things. Um, but I will still do it. I don't know. I will start a new one in two weeks. I don't know which one. I have some, but I don't know which one. I thought I had coffee talk, but it seems like I was mistaken. So uh, I have others. I will look at them. So yeah. Yeah, more visual novels. More keep trying to voice act and fail miserably. But yeah, let's just see who is streaming, so we can read. Okay, okay... Kronos is on?! We are reading Kronos. You're reading Kronos, I don't care. Yeah, I notice. I hope the other one is better with this back though. I'm assuming that because he's streaming with Kronos, he's feeling better from his back. Ihi, <laughs> that should scare them again. So, here's a red message for who is so. Who isn't sub the red master will be this one. And we are reading Cronus. So yeah. Thank you so much to everyone who joined me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back next week with more streams. So yeah. I'll also start a new game next week because we finish Potion craft, so to this week we finished two games. Yay! But yeah, I'll be back next week with more potion craft. With more potion craft, with more streams. And thank you, Zeph, for the resub. Thank you, Kiefer, for the, for the raid. And see you all next week. Bye bye!